As you turn to head back, a colossus appears around the side of a house. It silently looms over Alette, its face an expressionless stony mask, more terrifying than any roar it may have produced. Time seems to slow as it pulls back its enormous mace. Alette! No! Shoot it with an arrow! As though second nature, you knock an arrow. Alette is standing directly between you and the dredge, making the shot perilous at best. If you're off by a few inches, stop thinking. Shoot the dredge. You let go. A second passes like an eternity. The arrow bounces off the dredge's face, inches away from what you think is an eye. It recoils, then turns upon Alette again. Egil rushes to her side. Ivor throws himself between them, catching the mace on his shield and returns the favour, crushing the dredge's head with a shield point. When the dust settles, you can see that everyone is all right. Ah! Oh. Ha oh. ha! Oh. Let's get out of here, says Ivor, as he goes to check the last few houses nearby. Rook, see if you can find any more survivors, and meet me in the hall at the front. Ah. Oh. Oh, should we go to see the heroes? Or to the market? Should we see if there's any survivors in the market? There might be some survivors in the market, you know? And we just had a very close call with uh, Alette. A very close call. So maybe we should buy her something nice from the market to, uh, to quiet things down. What can we buy? We can buy the Comb of the Loom Mother, um, which costs 15, 15 of our 19 renown. It's a lot. It's a level 3, so nobody can use it just yet. Minus two drawing aggro. Could be interesting. Horse soccer. Shoes made from the hooves of the horseborn have long been rumored to make one faster, if not cold hearted. Plus one movement, 10% dodge strength attacks. Well, that could be quite useful. That could be very useful. Do you think we should. Should we, should we buy. Should we buy a letter comb? I <laughs> think. Minus two at drawing aggro? I mean. I don't know what that does, but I feel like I need to apologize for bringing her into such perilous danger. Um, I I'm not sure about the shoes, as much as shoes might seem like the right gift for a daughter. Um, a, they look a little bit scraggly, and B, I don't think she really needs the extra movement or the dodge attack, dodge strength attack, because she's not a frontline fighter, she's going to be shooting with her bow from the back. Um, equally, she probably doesn't really need minus two drawing aggro, but it just seems like the right thing to do to buy her a present. So, um, we're going to do it. We're going to buy her a... We're going to buy her a comb. I bought her a comb. There. Um, supplies available. Can we buy some supplies? We'll buy... We'll buy supplies as well, look. As many supplies as we can afford after the comb. Um, there we go. We've, uh, we've stopped by the shop. Um, there's no one that needs rescuing in the shop. It's, it's okay. Ivor, what about you? Have you found anything? Um, I've been to the market and there was a merchant, but he was fine. Uh, you find anyone? A few. Send them inside. Gods, this is bad. I'm out of practice, Rook. Look, as long as I've known you, you've always wormed your way out of talking about Dredge. This would be the time to start talking. I can tell you they rarely stop for rest. The sooner we leave, the better. They'll follow us until we're tripping over tired women and children. Then they'll attack. Even after we're wiped out, they'll keep coming trampling corpses in their wake. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Ask the Menders. I wasn't there. But I know you've fought your fair share. Yeah. I killed enough slag for one lifetime. That's why you're going to save us now. Don't lay that on me. Come on, let's get inside. Um, before that, I'm just going to nip to the hero's house uh, to see if we've got any level ups, just in case. Also, I've got a gift for Alette that I really think she might like. Um, although she is not actually... Alette must be rank 3 to equip it, uh, which she's not at the moment. But don't worry, it's there for you, Alette, for the future, should you, um, you know, decide that you want it in the future. Does anybody have a level up? Ivor! Ivor, you need to be promoted. We definitely need to promote you. Okay. 
What? Oh, we need the... Oh, we used all of our renown! <laughs> what were we doing? What was I thinking? Um, I used all of my renown buying a comb for a let that she can't even use yet. To the Great Hall, then. Rook! Thank the gods you made it! The Great Hall is an utter din, filled as it is with dozens of terrified families. Don't stop worrying yet. I haven't! What in the depths is going on? Dredge milling around, ransacking houses? The chieftain's wife finds you, pushing through the crowd. They must know we're here. Why haven't they attacked? I don't know. I wouldn't expect it to last. I've made some decisions, but tell me straight. What would you both do in my place? I'd have left by now. They're already outside the doors. Not so easily done. Rook? I trust Ivor on this. He is, after all, a giant and has fought these things before. Also, he's a giant and have you seen those horns? Seriously, I think we should do what the big giant says. The chieftain sighs a deep and heavy breath, slumping. He looks years older. I imagined us fighting back, saving the town! But, uh, nonsense. I was right, of course. We can't just wait to be slaughtered. Where do we go? If Dredge are coming from the north. Frostvella, to the west. It's close and it has walls. I intend to be free of Skoker in one push. Nobody left behind. I wouldn't. If they follow us, we're done. Well, what do you suggest? Let me create a distraction, then go. I'll catch up on the road to Frostvella. I was right. I'll help with the distraction. The chieftain thinks for a long moment. I didn't ask for advice just to ignore it. I promise you're not throwing your lives away on this. That wasn't part of my plan. Ivor? Nope. And I'm coming with you. That catches you by surprise. The chieftain rubs his chin, but doesn't argue. From the training she's given Alette, you've no doubt she can handle a bow. Also, she's holding a bow, and has a mighty quiver of arrows behind her back. Fine. I'll get the townspeople ready. Make your move, Ivor. We'll leave when you're clear. I want Gil with us, says Ivor. If something happens to us, I need him to tell the chieftain. Ivor goes off to find him. Alette finds you. I know what you're going to do. You have to let me come, she says. Don't leave me. Please, I'll be good. Okay, Alette. Just promise to listen. I promise, she says. Ivor soon finds you both. Let's go. Remember, we're not trying to fight them all. We're just getting their attention. You step into the town courtyard, where you can already see dredge in every direction. Ivor starts banging his shield and swearing at them. We kill a few, he shouts, and the rest will follow! You steal yourself for a tough fight. Ready. Alright, so, we've got three on the right hand side, we've got one on the left hand side. We wanna... Fuck, they're all big guys. These two are big guys. We wanna take this guy down hard and fast, hit him with everything we've got, weaken him to the point of being ineffectual, then we'll worry about the rest. Alright, so this is our formation. We're going to stay tight on the right flank here. We're going to use Ivor to protect the archers and Oddleaf. You just kind of stay behind the front line, front line fighters here. We've got Egil there as well, who's obviously out to prove himself worthy of courting Alette. Let battle commence. Ivor! You're up first. We're going to have you, I think, probably just move forward and engage this big guy. We'll just move up alongside here and attack. I think we'll go with... Should we break armor? He can actually do a bit of damage. Look, we could do two... Ah, oh, I probably should have powered that up with some extra willpower. Never mind. Live and learn. I'm sure we'll still survive uh, admirably here. Egil, you can step forward and see if you can start wearing this creature's armor down. Soften him up for some of the archers and stuff to step in afterwards. Rook, I think as well, it's probably worth everybody just wailing on this one big guy. So, Rook, move up into melee. And actually, I can use a Mark Prey here. By Mark Prey, everyone else gets to attack. 
Oh, look at that! Straight down to three strength. He is no longer much of a threat at all. In fact, what we need to be concerned about now, actually, is he might just run off and start summoning. Alette, can you maybe finish him off? We can get him down to one. That was probably a mistake. He's definitely going to go and summon now. Look, there he goes. He's off to try and summon more of his evil, evil allies, um, his dark dredge um, types. Oddleaf, have you got range if you come up here? Oh, you're just out of range. We could rain of arrows. That might do it. Should we give it a go? Rain of arrows. It would be here, which I think would probably count as a miss. I'm not sure. Uh, trap one tile with one arrow. No, that is not going to work, is it? That's not what we want. I suppose I could trap out here and hope that one of these other dredge run into it by accident. Given that she basically can't do anything else, we might as well. Let's do it. We'll fire the arrow up. It's still flying. It's still flying high into the sky, and it will eventually come down if anybody happens to wander underneath it. That's just how awesome Oddleaf is. Um, all right, Ivo, you need to kill this guy, otherwise he will summon. Wasn't exactly the plan, I know, but you've got to watch it with these big guys. Uh, if you just wound them, then they will bring in more, more of their nefarious, smaller dredge. Um, Egil, what can you do to this guy? You can do two damage, three damage to strength. I think we're just going to go... I mean, I really should break armor first. We'll break armor, and then whoever comes next can step in and, and do that much more damage. Look, they're avoiding Oddleaf's, um, Oddleaf's arrow. It's almost as if they know it's there, the cheeky devils. Uh, Rook, maybe if you just step in and engage this guy, maybe we could step into the middle between the two. Here we go. And then we can go with like a, a range attack on either one, or indeed on this guy at the back. We'll start breaking his armor down, look. I think this makes sense. Oh, we're gonna take a hit though. Oh, look, he took the he took the the shot from Oddleaf. He walked into Oddleaf's arrow. The fool! You fool! You fell right into my trap. All right. Um, Alette, what have you got here? We'll just move you, I think, into safety behind the guys, and then you can plink away at this guy's armor. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think because he, he's gonna act sooner than, than the guy who just walked under the arrow. Oh. Egil takes a blow from the big dredge, the big remaining dredge. Oddleaf, I think it's time that we start dealing some damage on these guys, so if you could attack the one that we have weakened. You can, you can only do two damage, sadly, but it's better than nothing. I think he's up next. He's not up next. Oh no, Alette! Oh, Alette takes a mighty blow. Uh, she's down to three strength damage. She's not going to be much use for the rest of this battle. Uh, but she might get lucky. She might get a lucky hit in. Ivor, keep wailing on the big guy. There's nothing you can do about Alette's predicament right now. Egil takes some armor damage. It's nothing to be particularly concerned about. Of course, he can't actually get to the dredge that is attacking his love right now, so he's going to have to focus on the matter at hand, which is... Uh, I think just weakening this big dredge here. We'll just keep working on his armor. We'll take that down. There we go. Make it easier for Ivor to deal the damage. Ooh, a deflection. Nice. Nice. That is good for us. Rook, of course, can reach the dredge um, that is well on his daughter, and therefore he shall do, because he's not having any of that. Five damage. That significantly reduces the threat of that dredge. He's wailing on Alette still. She's only got two strength now. Okay, you're going to have to retreat, Alette. Um, and maybe you can just shoot him. We could do armor damage. Well, 60% chance isn't bad. If we could do two damage, it would... Ah, deflected. Alas. Rook takes a hit. Nothing too concerning. Oddleaf. Okay, so we've got this guy who's on five strength. Not a huge threat. We've got this guy who's on ten strength, which is much more of a threat. So we'll, we'll whittle him down to six. There we go. He's now retreating. Oh, he's going to try and summon the dastardly demon that he is. But fortunately, Ivor's on his tail and hopefully can kill him with a single hit. Ivor, look at that. Exactly what we need. Straight in the back. Oh, he's going to wail on. He's oh, deflected. Yes. Good work, Alette. Alette holding her own against uh, this guy. Egil now is free to move in and protect his beloved. Oh, no. No, Alette. Why are they all wailing on Alette? If only she had her comb, she would be um, she would be so much less appealing to them, I guess. 
I guess that's the way that it works. Or maybe she'd be so beautiful with such beautifully combed hair that um, nobody would dare to attack her. A deflection, that's good. Alette might just survive this. Alette, just move around. Try and hide behind your, your beloved ear. Can you do any damage to either of these? 50% chance now. 50% chance. Uh, we might as well. We might as well roll the dice. Come on. Here we go. Make it stick. Ah, oh, deflection. Alas. Oh, he's coming round. There's no zone of control, of course, in the Banner Saga. And she's defeated. She's down. Oh, Brooke, of course, is... I mean, he's just screaming in, in anger and rage right now. And poor Egio doesn't know what to do. Has he failed his beloved? Is she mortally wounded or will she be okay? Um, only time will tell. Fortunately, Ivor is around and is able to finish off one of the dredge. Who gets the last laugh? It is Egil. Look, Egil gets to strike one blow. A blow for love and is promoted. Plus one renown. The battle is won, but Alette is wounded. Oh, Alette, are you okay? Will you recover? You have no problem getting the dredge to follow. Things begin to look dicey, especially when Alette goes down, although we manage to pick her up and throw her over our shoulder and run off anyway. But you're eventually able to lose them in thick woods, where they have difficulty keeping up. You climb to an overlook and wait for the caravan to appear. An hour later, Oddleaf is the first to spot them. There, she points to the road. As you rejoin them, you can tell there was trouble. Some people wounded, others missing. A group has gathered at the rear of the caravan. Oddleaf walks beside a covered figure in the open wagon. Old fool, she says through clenched teeth. I should have stayed with him. The chieftain's death hits you like a blow to the gut. You continue on to Frostvella in silence. I let's hand firmly in your own. Pausing to catch your breath, you glance backward to see the caravan stretched out past the point of safety. They're spaced out so far you're unable to see those bringing up the rear. We've got to pull them together, says Ivor. It'd be dangerous to stop until at least the Godstone. The path should be just up ahead. Call an early stop for the day. Slow the pace so everyone can catch up. Keep a steady pace. Rally the caravan with a speech! That sounds like exactly the sort of thing that Rook would do. You make your way to the rear and hoist a small child onto your shoulders. Fight for every step! Remember those who didn't make it and push onwards! The clansmen see your effort and follow suit, pushing themselves harder. Plus five renown. That's enough for a level up. What's this? A godstone. Ancient relic of a time when the gods were real and walked upon the land with men and Val. Now, just a stone with an ancient carving. Far enough for today, I think. After a day of misery, men and women drop their meager possessions beneath the godstone of Hridvaldia. What are we doing? We just left our homes because suddenly there were dredge. Chieftain did what I suggested. Look what he got for it. Look at these people. Somebody has to hold them together. That's you, Rook. But you're the dredge killer around here. Yeah, a Val. They want to listen to someone who looks like them. Really? Not someone who's massive with horns? What about Oddleaf? Let her, if that's easier for you. What if we run into more dredge? You mean when? I'll be honest with you. These men can't take on dredge by themselves. I expect we'll lose two for every slag we take down. So we run. Only if you want to lose women and children. You're going to have to fight. And there are going to be deaths. Gods be damned! Why is this happening? Oh, think of how I feel. I'm stuck nursing a bunch of weaklings. You do care. I can tell. Fah! Men are a plague on the world. Worse than any dredge. As far as I can tell. 
Chats like this are why we get along so well, Ivor. You sleep poorly, the sun forever stuck to an eternally bright sky. Before the others rise, you find yourself staring over long, low hills covered in pine. The godstone looms overhead, the massive eyes of Hridvaldia looking the same direction as you. Battered, beleaguered, but at least we are alive. At least three of us are alive. I'm not sure if I count as one of those three, or if it's those three plus me. I think it's supposed to be those three plus me. I think I'm kind of, you know, I like hover above the battlefield, wizard style commanding things. The return to Markdorf. What a sorry display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive in Markdorf. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The man who hired the company days ago 